let's see, 590 was the buy. Okay. So it costed you $590 and it went to 555. That is a $45 risk. If you were like, I don't follow any rules, I'm going rogue today. So again, your risk, and by the way, if it would have broken held down here in VWAP, right, that's not the place to be. You can see it right here, pop 577. But anyways, so look at your risk to reward ratio. Massive upside, limited downside, all right? Hopefully that makes sense. Let me show you with Tesla. Same, same drill. Every time it pops VWAP, get in. Every time it goes down, get out, right? Every time it pops, get in. Of course, this is small, get out. But guess what? There's your payday. You got in, and this one, it took off. But your stop was down here. You see how this is working? You got in here, boom. You got in here, boom. Right? Even if it takes you a bunch of times, you're like, I got in and I barely made money. Right? And then it sunk and you're out. I got in, I barely made money and it sunk and you got out. This, 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 and this, those are your paydays. Do you see them? So it's even literally like, uh, Throw enough mud against the wall, it's going to stick. Correct. And one of them is going to take off, right? That's how stocks work. Yep. That's why I've been telling you guys to do VWAP. You're like, oh, coach, it's too expensive. If Tesla's too expensive, what should you be trading? PSLL. There you go. Do you see how it's exactly identical in every way, right? <laughs> break, break, break. You see what I mean? No.